Hello everybody, I am outside and you know what that means, it is time for an unboxing. Today I am unboxing my birthday present to myself, which comes from Coach. So let's start unboxing. I have my very heavy scissors here. I'll bring this up because I'm not sure if you can see, but let's see. I'm just going to cut this line here, and you can see the Coach logo. So I open it up, and you see Coach New York, and usually they have a black circle with the little Coach horse and carriage, but this time they have these cherries in a fun little color. So let's see, let's... That's such a pretty sticker. Uh, I have to break it. Okay, perfect, it is. I wasn't sure if it was going to be an additional package. It is, so... I opted for the gift option, gift packaging. It's free option when you order online. I'm not sure if when you're in store if they offer it. I'm sure they would. I also opted for a little, just a little card. Actually, no. This is just a thank you. The card says, thank you for shopping at Coach. We hope you enjoy your purchase. It was made with high quality and attention to detail. Coach has been known for since 1941. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you, and then their, con their contact information. So, let's go in here, and we have our... Let's just look at the contents. We have the item itself. I'm going to put down here. We have some tissue paper. We also have what looks to be the receipt. Open it up and see. Aha! So I opted in for the message, and so it was just me being corny. Just saying, Tyler, happy 21st birthday. You made it. Don't drink too much wine. You know you're worth it. I know. It's a little bit weird to send it to yourself, but that's just me. And then inside is... A receipt, it looks like it's a receipt and return labels, which is perfect. And that's all that's in the box besides that. So I'm just going to keep that in there. And now it is time for the unboxing of this. I'm just going to make sure that we're recording still. Okay. So this is my first time unboxing any item brand new out of the packaging I'm pretty sure in my entire channel so this is exciting so we have the brown ribbon black envelope kind of box it's a little bit dinged up on the side which is a little bit sad but it's fine and it looks like there was adhesive but it didn't stick down so I'm going to I can't I don't know if it's down here you can see so I'm just gonna unwrap it from over here just unwrap Now this is from the Coach 1941 line. Oh. I didn't even have to unwrap it. <sighs> or unknot it, I mean. Well, here we go. So this is the sticker that I'm, I was talking about. This is usually the sticker that it comes in. <sighs> I thought it was knotted all together. That's fine. So here we have tissue paper and you're just not going to catch up on camera, but there's this logo is all over this tissue paper. Let's see if I can, you might be able to tell. Let's see. Oh, you can see right there. Just a little bit. So let's. It's going to be a little bit messy. Are you ready? 
And it's in a dust bag. So there's another layer to it. Ooh, and this is a very nice dust bag. Never had a Coach product that had a dust uh, bag before. I have with Fossil. This is definitely a cotton. Not, it's not a silk kind or a fake silk. This is definitely a cotton blend. It's very nice. Oh, and here's the bag. Ready? I got the dinky, regular size dinky in the car print. Let's focus on that. So see all of the different cars that they have? These this one car has does have the glitter effect on it. I'll put this dust bag down. Just show you the sides. The sides also have the glittery paint on it, uh, glazing. It has a pocket. Side. It does have the antique brass, or is, is it brass or antique brass hardware? This is how you would lock it. Came unlocked though. Again, inside, I don't know if this is the honey color leather. That's what I have there. Inside we have the kiss lock. This is the only part that of it's the, that's not leather or metal. This is just the coated canvas in between. And it looks like inside of here, we have our care instructions. Then we flip it around. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But inside of here, it says, this is a coach dinky bag. It is made out of genuine glove tan leather. The variations of natural characteristics of full grain leather first introduced in 1973. Its chic shape and convertible strap makes it timeless classic. Makes it a timeless classic. This refined version preserves the kiss lock pocket and polished turn lock of the original. And then it has an individual number on it. And this actually looks like it's almost like a little pocket. It's kind of strange. And I just have this little protection in here. Over here on the side, this is for a key hook. I'm going to take this protective strap off. So you can take this little... Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> difficult to show, but this little button just pops. And then you can put a little loop in, in between there. And then it has this additional pocket. I'm gonna go explore this for a little bit and I'll come right back to you. Okay, everybody, I moved back on inside just so I could give some close-up shots shots of it. I did notice there were like a couple scratches like here. If you just look at it in the light, there's a little bit of scratches, which hope which you can't really see like if you just look at the bag like that. It looks all fine. So I'm not too worried about that. The bottom doesn't have any feet, but it's a crossbody bag. But one thing, I don't know if it showed up before. Look at this edging. It has this, it's, base, it's almost like this color. It's this glittery effect. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's glittery. It has like tones of coppers and reds in it. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. So I didn't know about that. And that continues with the crossbody. I'm going to grab my laptop and find out the dimensions of it for you. Actually, I will. I believe I have my tape measure. So I will do that. Let me see if I can just put my phone. Excuse the mess. So here's the bag. I am. Let's see. It is. To my measurements, it is.
I think that's exactly nine inches across. I'm not gonna count for, I'm not gonna count the metal hook. I'm gonna count the height. Oh, this is hard. My angles are so strange. I need like a third hand. Let's see if this works. Perfect. So I'm just gonna measure. Let me adjust. I'm gonna measure from here. Oh. From top to bottom. That would be five and a quarter inches from bottom to the top of the piece of this leather. From the very top, I'll say over here, I'll do this next dimension. Flap included, one and a half inches. At the very bottom, it gets to... Oh, my, oh, my hand's probably in the way. At the very bottom, it gets to... Two and a quarter inches. It's such a lovely bag. I keep looking at it. Uh, I went before I started filming this when I came back inside I just checked to make sure that all of my essentials would fit and I'm actually gonna do another video on that about transferring from my ginger to here and I might probably do a comparison between them this is obviously a different type of bag than my ginger but yeah if you just want to look the metal on the kiss lock matches with the rest of the hardware, which is very nice. I was thinking that it was gonna be gunmetal. Should also kind of be cool, but I'm glad it m just matches everywhere. Usually I don't go with gold tones, but I think with this bag, it works very well. And I found out that my phone did fit in this, and I have a iPhone 7 Plus with a Mophie case on it, which makes it even larger. It actually fits here, and it fits on in this pouch here. So that is interesting. One note that I have been finding, I don't know why I said that, I said it like that. One thing after looking at this bag for probably what, 10 minutes since I've unboxed it in real life, the, these cars are, have like a coating on it. Just this one specific one, the one that has glitter on it, the, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then they keep going, and, oh, I didn't mention that, there's the hang tag. I don't know if, just by chance, I got it to have the exact car on there, but that's pretty cool. I feel like my favorite, I don't even know which one of my favorite cars, this is an interesting one, but these all have the glitter, and... My only concern that's bringing up right now is whether the coating on this will need to be redone. Because I don't, I'll be very quiet. Listen to this. Do you hear that? It almost sounds like it could be peeling up. I don't know. That one sounds fine. That one sounds fine. I don't know, there's just, it's a little bit concerning, but I am fine. And actually, now that I realize it, all of the wheels on all of the cars have little glittery tones to it. Let me. And so the, the little gold here and also in the windows and maybe the headlights. I can't, I don't think the headlights. Yeah. Ooh, out of focus, out of focus, out of focus. So, yeah, so here is my Coach Dinky 1941 handbag that I bought for my birthday. And there are some modifications I have planned on with this bag. I am 95% sure I'm going to keep this bag. 
the I just want to make sure that this fits with my lifestyle, so I'm going to test drive it for a little bit, just because it is a little bit different of a bag compared to this bag. This is a lot more carefree. It's a little bit, and it's a lot bigger. In addition to all of the stuff that I would put in there, I have that much, but yeah, so this has been my review for my, not a re my review, this has been my unboxing for my Coach Dinky normal size from Coach in the car print. So if you all would like to subscribe, like, and comment, I'm going to definitely be doing more of these, more videos on this bag, and you can look forward to seeing that. See you all later. Bye. Hello everybody, this is Tyler from The Next Day, and I just didn't do an outro to this video, but I just wanted to let you know that I was really excited to do this video and show all of you my new um, bag. So again, if you'd like to subscribe, it's either on this side. I'm not usually using this side of the camera, but it's either here or here. Um, you can subscribe, and then I'll have um, some additional videos somewhere around here. Um, and so yeah, so comment down below. I love conversations, like, share, follow, anything you want. But thank you all for watching, and hopefully you'll see me soon.